It's your first day of school. It's even worth having to clean the crock pot after. She barely said goodbye to us. Good morning, guys. It was just after 6 a.m. when I got up. It's just around 6.30 now. I have showered for the day. I'm just about to finish getting myself ready. It's Lila's first day of school. I'm so excited for her. She's been absolutely just buzzing, vibrating with excitement all weekend. She cannot wait to get to know her teacher better, make new friends, start learning, doing all the fun crafts and games. So I really wanted to make today special for her. So I have a really fun breakfast I'm gonna be making that will both fuel her up, but is also something kind of like fun and a treat um, just for our exciting day. We're gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna share with you guys her first day of school outfit. And then, um, after we get home this afternoon, I do have a special dinner recipe. I mentioned it in a previous video and you guys were like, you can't just mention it, you have to give us the recipe. It is a splurge recipe, but it is my crock pot mac and cheese. And it is something we do for special occasions. It is definitely an indulgence. This is all the cheese guys and the regular pasta and the delicious gooiness of just cooking slow in the crock pot for a couple hours. So it's one of Lila's absolute favorites. So we thought we would do it as a fun special treat and I haven't made it. I think in months. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you guys downstairs. We're gonna get breakfast going and hopefully I have enough time to get some of that stuff done before she wakes up. Well, so much for my wake up early plan. A little monster came and found me. Hey, what is today? My first day of school. It's your first day of school. I think she was just so excited. She woke up early. Look how dark out it is still, guys. This is at least a solid hour before she ever normally wakes up. All right, I guess I have a helper this morning. Figures, okay, we're as ready as we're gonna get now today. I didn't get to blow dry my hair, it's just gonna have to air dry, but I'm making coffee. <sighs> so much for my hour of time by myself to get everything ready. Isn't that how it always happens though? So. And of course, because we're up, Millie now thinks she's up and demanded it was breakfast time an hour early. Millie. You stinker. And I'm just gonna keep coffee simple because it's fast this morning and I need the fastest vehicle to get it in my body. So I'm just going with some Stoke cold brew. I've been loving the ease of this lately. I haven't been using my cold brew maker the last couple weeks just because I need to buy more of the busy cold brew beans that I love to use. I think I have those linked below, but they're my favorite kind of beans to use in the cold brew maker. I like using a coarse ground and I just haven't taken the time to order it on Amazon. So I've been picking this up instead. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with my standby go-to my Chobani coffee creamer. So two tablespoons of that and a cup of this. Well, the sun is starting to finally peek out. Lila and I are gonna have a little coffee time on the couch. This is one of our favorite things to do in the morning. I mean, she's only going to school three days a week, so it's not like we won't be able to still do this. But are you having your chocolate milk? Mm -hmm. I'm having just my cold brew and some creamer. Can I have a first day of school? Cheers. Happy first day. Cheers. Are you so excited? Mm -hmm. What are you most excited for about starting school? What are you most Painting excited for? And coloring. Painting and coloring? And meeting new friends? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited for you. My baby. I think I'm gonna have a lot of those moments today. I'm both very excited for her. I cannot wait for her to have friends and do the whole school experience. She's been like dying for socialization and having kids around more the last two years, you know what I mean? So I can't wait for her. I'm a little sad, my mama heart. It's a little sad, it's gonna be a little bit lonely. I'm gonna get a lot of YouTube work done today though. Um, and obviously any day she's in school, that's the goal. But I'm gonna miss her. You already waved to them this morning. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Lila wants to wave to you guys this morning. Are you so excited? Yeah. Yeah. Well, mommy had planned a really fun special breakfast. I was gonna make two ingredient dough cinnamon rolls, which I've actually never tried before. I love making things with two ingredient dough, but I just hadn't gotten around to doing that yet. Um, but someone has been a little yogurt monster this weekend. Me. Yeah, you. And um, Josh was doing breakfast the last couple mornings while I was doing some work in the mornings. And I didn't realize I only have like half a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt left, which I need for the dough. And I can't make traditional cinnamon rolls because I don't have time to let them rise and cook and everything now. So 
mom veil. Oops. Anyway, we're going to pivot. It's okay. What are we going to have instead? Pancakes. Yeah. I'm going to make some pancakes um, and put some protein okay. powder in there too to keep this one full. So anyway, we're going to make some protein pancakes and maybe for a special twist, we'll just add some mini chocolate chips or something. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. So actually when you use the vanilla protein powder too, that gives it a slight vanilla sweet taste. So I think instead of chocolate chips, we're gonna throw some sprinkles in and make like a twist on some fun fetty pancakes. This has been such a cute, fun little thing. I have this cake stand that I mostly use as decor, to be honest, on like my baking area over here. Um, a lot of times I'll have a candle in it. But the other weekend, Lila and I made this really cute little toppings bar. We have mini chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. We did our DIY of our own sprinkle mixes. So this is like a golden chocolate one. And then we made a unicorn mix one with like pink and blue sprinkles. So this has been so fun. We use these like today, we'll use them to put some sprinkles in our Funfetti pancakes, or we have the mini chocolate chips we could do on pancakes or waffles. But mostly we made this because we've loved doing yolk bowls this summer, which are Greek yogurt and oats mixed together. And then you get to do fun mix-ins. We'll do fruit and then just like a teaspoon or two of um, the fun little add-ons. And because she gets to help decorate it, she loves the opals. And honestly, they have so much protein and fiber and stuff in them. They're a great start to her day, even though we have a little sweet topper on top. And it even made a few extras to pop in the freezer, so we have some meal prep breakfast for the rest of the week that are special. Our unicorn rainbow funfetti pancakes. So I'm just packing Lila's lunch. Her preschool goes from nine to one and they do have both lunch and a snack there. So I'm doing peanut butter and this is some of our homemade strawberry jam. I actually shared um, us making this after our big strawberry picking extravaganza last May. So I'll link that video up above if you're curious about that recipe. But how cute is this? I just have a little heart shaped co uh, cookie cutter and I'm just gonna stamp it through make her a little heart-shaped pbj and before we worry about being wasteful with this i actually have a little trick on how i've been using lila's crust cut off from her pbjs if you guys want to know the fun new breakfast recipe i turned this into leave a comment down below and hit the like button on this video here's her first day of school lunch we have her heart-shaped pbj some cut up strawberries and grapes she does have this nifty little utensil holder it has a reusable fork and spoon in it in her lunchbox so these are just like her treat for after lunch and some goldfish along the side with lunch. And then a little drinkable yogurt smoothie for her morning snack with a strap. Loving this moment, can we stay here forever? Forever. Hey guys, okay, Lila did so great <laughs> going in on her first day. She ran right into her classroom. We got her bag hung up, her lunchbox put in the right spot, and she went right to the table with the other kids to start playing their activity. It was so sweet and like, she barely said goodbye to us. I mean, I know inside my mama heart kind of was like, say goodbye to me, but I'm so happy she's doing so well. She was so excited to make friends and just to get in there and start school, she's been excited all summer for it. So in a way, I'm even though I'm a little sad she didn't miss me at all, it was a good thing. She's grown so much and I'm so excited for her and to have started school. So I've been home for a little while. Josh has been working upstairs in the office. I've been getting some editing done on another YouTube video. It is so weirdly quiet in this house when she's not here and I got a lot done in those couple hours that she's been gone so I need to go pick her up um, in a little bit here but before I go get her picked up from school I am actually going to get our dinner started it is a crock pot mac and cheese and it is my family's 
go-to all-time favorite like celebration at home meal. Josh and Lila both love it. We've done variations where we add um, like chicken breast with buffalo sauce and do like a buffalo chicken style crock pot mac and cheese. I'm just going traditional today because that's what Lila wanted. And this is not Weight Watchers friendly. <laughs> On holidays or vacations, we just have a nice celebratory meal or day with our family and then I move on with my health journey and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm making the pasta right now. These are just rotini noodles, um, just basic ones. I got them at Aldi and my family likes those because um, the curly noodles hold on to sauce really well. So we like using those or we've used elbows or shells. You can mix and match, do whatever kind of noodle you want, but I'm going to cook those till just under al dente. So you don't want to cook them all the way through and then add those to the crock pot along with our cheese and milk and butter and more cheese and all the good gooey stuff. I mean, I'll serve it with a salad. That counts, right? So they're kind of that perfect al dente. They're a little bit soft, but definitely still hard on the inside. You can't break them apart very easily. Um, once the water was boiling, I put some salt in it to flavor it and season it up. And then these only cooked for maybe like six-ish minutes um, to reach that al dente. Now I'm sure there are ways to lighten this recipe up. I personally haven't tried very many swaps. I'm doing a couple little ones that'll save like calories here and there and points um, and just to use up kind of the stuff I normally have in my own fridge because I have reduced fat cheddar cheese. I have light butter. Um, those are some swaps you can make to help lighten it up a little bit. It's still pasta, it's still mac and cheese. It's still definitely delicious. So here's the other ingredients I'm gonna need for my mac and cheese. I have a pound of rotini pasta. Again, you could use elbows or shells or whatever kind of pasta you want. I have 2% milk. Um, you could also go down to like a 1%. You could try um, unsweetened, unflavored, plain almond milk. I haven't tried that, but you could try it. Regular sharp cheddar cheese. I am going to sub in my reduced fat sharp cheddar. Um, basically just use up what I have left in here and then just round out the amount of cheddar I need with the regular because I don't think I have enough some regular Parmesan cheese regular butter but you could swap out this and it will cut half the calories of the regular butter I am using regular butter today because there's like barely a tablespoon left of this and then some Velveeta cheese. This is just the Aldi brand, the Clancy's cheese melt. I think it works just the same. Taste-wise, it's pretty similar, especially once you add in the other flavors of cheese, it all goes together really well. So I don't mind doing the off-brand of the Velveeta. So check out my description below. I'm gonna write out this full recipe, including amounts and ingredients and some options for swaps. So let's make some mac and cheese. So this is a huge bar of cheese melt. Um, it's the only size that Aldi carried, and it's about four times as much as I need. So I only need eight ounces for this recipe, and this is a 32 ounce bar. The rest of it, I you can package it up, put it in your fridge or your freezer. It lasts a very long time. So I'm gonna take this quarter of it and chop it down into cubes. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle, all the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes and I will never Next I'm adding in three cups of go. milk. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the Then we need like a I'm quarter cup no of butter. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I'm alone. I got it, I got it. I ended up getting about half of the amount I needed out of the reduced fat and half of regular. So a cup and a half of each. And finally, a quarter cup of Parmesan. Yes, it looks just like a mountain of cheese. I'm gonna give this a couple big stirs to distribute all the cheese, make sure the milk is getting into all of the noodles so they finish cooking through. And this is only gonna go on low for about two hours. So a super quick crock pot. 
If you don't want to use the crock pot for a short recipe, you could honestly probably follow this exact same recipe with same ingredients and kind of mix it up a little bit and put it right in the oven in a covered baking dish, probably on a lower heat for just around an hour and it'll all melt through and it'll be a super quick, fun family dinner as well. This recipe is always such a hit. When I was working full time in an office, it was always what everyone requested me to bring whenever we did office potlucks. It was, is Lauren bringing the mac and cheese? So it's really good. It's always a crowd pleaser. It's super simple and quick to throw together too. It's just a little bit more indulgent than things I normally cook right now on my health journey. But I'm excited to have a fun celebratory dinner. So anyway, I'm putting the lid on and I'm gonna put it on low for about two hours. And I'm just in time. I'm gonna go pick up Lila at school. I wanted to take the opportunity while Lila was at school to get this put together. Mamas, you know, once the kids are gone, you can get something done quickly. If they're around, it'll take you four times as long. So I got this done. It's gonna be done cooking probably by like 3 p.m. But I'm just gonna turn my crock pot to warm. And as long as I leave the lid on, it'll be good to sit for a little bit. And then we'll probably just have an earlier dinner tonight. I don't like to let things like this sit in the crock pot too long on warm because it can dry out. So if you find that happening, just add a little extra milk and you'll be fine. But that's the plan. Let's go get Lila. She's back. Lila, how was your first day of school? It was great. It was great. What did you do? I paint. Paint? What else? Paint. What else? And I played. I'm going story time. You did story time and playing? We are gonna head home. I'm probably gonna get Lila a snack and some quiet time. She looks pretty tired after her first day of school. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit and make sure we check in with dinner and share with you guys how everything came out. So delicious. It's even worth having to clean the crock pot after. Okay guys, here is dinner. I left the pepper um, out of the mac and cheese that I did in the crock pot because Lila won't eat it. So I just sprinkled some fresh cracked pepper on mine. I made up a nice big green salad, which I'm gonna put on my plate here. Um, there's croutons. I have to figure out what kind of dressing I'm gonna do. Yet I'm all out of my zero point ranch that I made the other day, which is just a combination of plain unpacked Greek yogurt and powdered ranch um, like dip mix. So I need to make some more of that. I might go with Greek today just to keep it a little bit lighter. But yeah, that's gonna be our special Lila's first day of pre-K dinner. I would share with you guys Lila eating her dinner, but she was starving by like four o'clock and ate early. I have a feeling this little one is uh, pretty tuckered out from her first day and it's gonna end up in bed early. So now she's actually just crunching on her favorite snack croutons. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us for our special Lila's first day of pre-K vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed being with us for this fun family moment. Hit the like button if you enjoyed seeing today's family vlog. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep following along with my videos and my healthy lifestyle journey as a mom. And until next time, bye. bye. I always do. I never think I always do. Never thought I would a jump. Oh, what a fool. Get up again